And just like that, folks, hope y'all can hear me loud and clear. For the handful of y'all who are tuning in, of course, later on. Thank you very much. Let me get let me get that website front and center and my stream front and center. Hello folks, what's up? Another live stream, not gaming this time. Surprisingly enough. Weird how every time I move, I tweeted about this as well. Every time I move towards NFTs, I miss gaming. Every time I game, I end up missing... Uh... Wait, I think you're, you're hearing doubles? Okay, not, not anymore. Should be fine now. So yeah. Oops, wrong. Actually, let me just get that out of the way. There we go. All right. Yeah. So new new platform. It's called Dive. And we're going to dive into Dive. Should have held that for longer. But anyway. <laughs> uh, let me just send the link around. Just for a bit. So where can we send it? Um... Okay, sent it there, sent it all around, kind of. I think I saw something called promote yourself on this channel. Okay, okay, let's dive in. So let's check out the website first, then we'll head to a couple of tasks. They've actually given us OGs or the ones who've been picked out for just testing out the um, platform itself. So I'm excited to see how, um, what, what kind of stuff I need to do to start off with and, uh, yeah, what, what we end up, end up doing together for those of you tuning in. So yeah, let's take a look. So at first glance, when I first found them on Twitter, I found them on Twitter. I didn't even know, um, initially that some of these members, some of the members behind dive are actually in the wolves doubt that I'm part of, um, and yeah, this is not any kind of paid partnership. I'm just curious about that platform. So I'm diving in and as always, nothing you see on this channel is financial advice. Do your own due diligence, crypto NFTs, super, super volatile environments to make sure you operate sensibly. But yeah, let's check out the website. It's the first time I'm looking at it. Lend and short sell NFTs, which I've been looking at for a while now. I'm surprised because I didn't know they were going to go the distance and offer lending services as well. Um, so yeah, you can dive in as they say, you can, ju you'll jump into their discord. So opportunities for holders and traders, because if you want to make kind of, uh, make a little bit of, uh, income from lending your NFTs, you can, uh, get paid to lend them out. Hmm. So I've just to make make it clear. I've never dove down into lending NFTs. I know Bendow is another significant platform. A lot of people use, especially board API art club holders use, um, heard about a lot of individuals who you see on the timeline frequently use it a lot. So, um, yeah, that's another one. So these guys are kind of being competitors, but what they're doing for, um, traders in terms of, um, shorting and whatnot, that that's 100 percent um new to the space and it's it's just not there or if it's there i've not found uh, any platform so far this is the only one i found so yeah borrow and sell upfront if prices drop replace the nft with one at the new floor price and keep the difference hmm okay and yeah then there's gary v's iconic line that says nine nine percent of nft projects are going to be garbage and that is 100 percent right Okay, lenders allow borrowers to return any NFT from the same collection. Okay, lend to earn is what they're calling it. Get back an NFT from the same collection you lent and keep the fee. List to earn again or claim collateral if no NFT is returned. Okay, traders borrow to short. So again, just to make it clear, right? I hope you all understand how uh, lenders are uh, typically making money off of this. Um, in the future, the platform isn't, you know, hasn't gotten the full green signal and hasn't launched fully. So I I expect it to, again, this is the tricky part, right? Before we head into borrowing to short or whatever, I went to Bendow. I've, I've been 
on the platform i've not used it but i've seen that there are certain collections that are left out but again these platforms can only do so much to inquire about the legitimacy of the collection there's so many scams so they don't want to be um you know typically giving leverage to any of the holders with nfts that are probably not gonna um give the platforms a return in any sense uh in the scenario where um the borrow the lender sorry the borrower ends up you know defunct you know just doesn't end up paying back uh the fee Th they borrowed yeah sorry I'm heads all over the place but anyway i'm saying the right things should stop doubting myself so borrow to short profit if you can buy a replacement nft for less than the one you borrowed installed okay this is what we'll be testing out because that's what they wanted us to test out they have a whole document which i'll show in a bit but yeah then there's the team um i'm i'm gonna assume this is ulti on the discord also a wolves dow member um so yeah yeah i i chatted with him and that's how i got the og role that lets me uh test this platform ahead of its launch sam Stef stefanina hope i got that right yeah sam's also part of the wolves dow so they're fellow members of the wolves dow great little um community of gamers game analysts gaming creators in web3 so you you guys should definitely check wolves dow out if you haven't already um good people in there real people they'll call out a platform's bullshit as soon as they see it uh, or a project's bullshit so not the ones right out there trying to scam you um but yeah that's pretty much it that's all the information of course i all, i just scrolled away from the fact that it's backed by web3's brightest minds i'm not saying it they're saying it just to start off with but yeah i think i can watch for wolves dow because i'm part of it and at lizards um is another significant gaming community that came from illuvium um from within the illuvium chats so yeah that's an interesting community i want to jump into but it's tricky to jump into their community their asset the eat lizards or eat lizards depending on how you pronounce it are uh, pretty pricey right now in the market actually relatively lower but they're at around 0.7 eth but yeah no financial advice as always i haven't heard of anton bokov my bad um i haven't heard of them and syn synthetics as well but i know illuvium and of course um no brainer that illuvium backs these guys okay we'll we looked at the website pretty straightforward and diving in only takes you to the discord so let's take a look at um trying and getting this sorted so this lets me weird ah there you are okay so now we have nfts moment yeah just five load some funds mint goblin i i know i have a little girl eat so they're doing this on the girl eat test net so i'm just gonna mint a whole lot of girl eat and assets um if only it was this easy for in the regular main net huh <laughs> but yeah i just uh yeah okay that should do it this is launch app oops okay anyway um this is their application not connected now is not in the law list really okay that that's just a buffer which happens in platforms that are still developing but there you have it so this is their platform um it's what it's gonna look like remotely or typically will look like um before i head into my nfts and as uh interesting it's going to look if only i had these kind of nfts on the main net uh but anyway let's uh topic at hand so yeah this this was the document hope i didn't press anything i shouldn't have yeah okay i did okay so this is the document that we were given to figure out um to to do on that platform in the brand new platform and and try test and see what happens throughout the process of doing these things so they've got a whole share bug or feature requests at the end of it so maybe um for the one person watching and those of you watching later on drop it in the comments or in the chat uh what kind of features along the way you think could have been added 
uh, to the platform. I know Ulti will take all kinds of feedback positively. So make sure you uh, drop it in the comments. So yeah, let's take a look. Test night instruction test night is slow. Of course, we got to see that. Um, we just got to wait 10 seconds. So yeah, goalie test net is fake. Once selected, you can't make mistakes. Uh, <laughs> all right. Um, congrats, we well dropped you. All right, doodle price is four. And a floor rarity doodle. Okay, I got plenty of the doodle, so I'm like confused. Create a listing to earn from your NFT. Pretend it's a real NFT or minute to simulate a real experience, helping us get the best feedback to info processes and risks are clear okay okay follow the five steps to borrow and short okay let's just start with creating uh creating a listing so i will get rid of a doodle because sadly they're not an nft project anymore <laughs> apparently uh jokes aside that's sad uh but i want to listing details Trying to figure out okay at first glance it seems like too much information i don't know if i'm uh listing or okay i need to list listing details borrow or free collateral interesting five percent twenty five percent of the okay wait wait, 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 wait. short selling steps i'm just trying to get my head wrapped around this platform before doing anything else so i'm gonna create listing what i um looked at earlier okay this is interesting and important the borrower can replace my nft with any nft from the same collection the borrower can also choose to not replace my nft and instead forfeit the collateral to me flagged nfts cannot be i understand cool Choosing values. Let's look at this. Setting values to collateral is too low and the flow price rises above it. The borrower won't want to replace your NFT and you won't get enough to buy a replacement. True. So something to remember. Probably when you're doing this, you want to um, ensure you put up the collateral as a bit above flow price depending on what kind of time it is throughout the year if there's like a upcoming news from the collection coming up then you probably want to uh, bump it up in collateral if it's uh, by considerably bump it up instead uh, if, if there's not much news on the horizon probably be a little bit more conservative but yeah for a period longer periods may be more attractive but also increase the chance the flow price will rise above the collateral amount true you cannot force a borrower to replace your nft early interesting so once you lend it out like you gotta wait the tenure okay shorter periods uh give flexibility to adjust listing values of course based on marketing conditions which i would recommend any day of the week because market conditions are so volatile i think everyone will agree unless you're i'm not even gonna say anything else anyway uh but requires more frequent relisting which means effort from your side and effort from your side is fine if you are full-time web three or in front of your in front of the computer for the most part borrow fee a higher fee can help reduce the risk from long borrow periods hmm okay the fee can compensate you for rarity differences between your nft and the and any replacement flow flow nft wait, wait can compensate you for rarity differences between your and any replacement flow nft fair yeah the borrower fee in case you're going to lend out a rare NFT, I guess that makes sense. Um, but I, that's the thing, right? That's what I was thinking when I read the first couple of lines um, around uh, borrow, borrow period. No, no, borrow period. Earlier when they were talking about um, um, being able to replace your NFT with another NFT from the collection, I was thinking, what if it was a rarer NFT that you give out? And why would anyone give out a rarer NFT to begin with, right? um just gotta do something okay yeah um set this above the flow price collateral set this above the flow price if the flow price rises above the collateral the borrower is unlikely to replace your nft obviously higher values protect against price volatility but make your listing less competitive find a balance your comfort comfortable comfortable with that the second i finished that line i was like bro what are you saying like it's going to be subjective at the end of the day because 
um yeah you got to find that balance they can't like at that point i guess if they were rude they would say we can't hold your hand throughout the process necessarily which makes sense okay let's try this so looks like a floor nft i haven't even looked at the traits nah, screw it anyway um borrow period i'd say i would do 7 days yeah listing expiry well, yeah march 28th obviously 7 seven days don't judge my uh understanding of time what you're paid for your nft 5% 25% off the floor price hmm so this is the fee which the borrower so 5% to 4 eth for don't judge me says don't judge but i'm going to this is where you know i'm dumb Point two. There we go. I think I'm fine with that. Point two. Eat. Um, claim if your NFTs is not replaced. Okay. So here, since it's a floor, seven days only. Price movement right now won't be the greatest in my opinion. But yeah, let's. I'd say four point. It's a four point five. Like point five eat movement tops. I. I think that's that's fine. Your potential earnings is point one eight. Which is pretty peaceful if you think about it, um, especially for a collection like Doodles. Like, let's assume this platform is green and people are actually using it twenty four seven around the world. Then you're thinking of, um, you're you're typically expecting a point one eight ETH return from an NFT, which typically probably wouldn't have made you anything over a week. especially if it's doodles cuz price movement's terrible right now or what not but yeah and if it goes up wild scenario it goes up considerably you get you get 4.5 eth at the end of it uh, yeah yeah you yeah, they probably going to hand you 4.5 eth and decide like yeah i'll just flip it or whatever or hold it makes sense could cool. create the listing confused myself halfway through another tip if you're watching for the first time ever someone doing something in nfts never sign your transaction as quick as i did because it means you're not reading anything and you want to be reading everything on the mainnet this is a test net so it doesn't matter it will be asked to approve this question from your wallet it's taking time because it's test net so makes sense So yeah, we've just done listing, so we still got like borrowing to do, and that was what I wanted to do more than anything else. So let's let's see. Okay, there we got it. Collateral four point five. There it is, the point two ETH fee. Interesting. Okay. Mm hmm. Okay, 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 okay. This thing's up. I like this. Very clear. Very clean. Um. I'm I'm thinking how can. Would there be a scenario where an individual on purpose would, put in. put up the collateral lower than the floor price itself maybe maybe in the case oh wait, wait i'm messing with my head too much let's just jump back into the next five steps so goblin town it's when you would be watching for prices to fall okay fine borrow one goblin town sell it to the best collection offer 0.08 on open seas testnet testnet os link found on nft card directly okay Three hour sale delay after transfers. You may choose to skip this step. Okay, buy a replacement floor, a uh, Goblin Town NFT from OpenSea. Link here. Weird. Okay, never mind. Um, you made G eight on the short sale. So no OpenSea are in wrapped G eight. Okay. Okay, let's try and do this. So I need to go to. 
Goblin Town, the collection. Where do I see? Don't see it. Hey, there we go. Market. Where's the search bar? That's definitely something they need to show up on this, but I'm pretty sure they're planning on it upon full release. But yeah, I, I'd say search bar. Expires 12 days, 12 days. So I can borrow either of this, but right before I do that, let's look at short selling tips. Okay. Borrow NFT, sell weight, buy floor, and return NFT. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Sell high, then buy low. If prices drop after you sell, keep the after fee difference as profit. Main risk, no guarantee prices will drop before the end of the borrow period. This is when you as a trader, you're making a call as they do in crypto, as they do in stocks, when they short anything. If floor is greater than collateral, don't buy a replacement and forfeit your collateral instead. Losses are offset by any pr proceeds from selling the NFT. Makes, makes pretty much all the sense you'd expect it to. So yeah, this looks fine. It's just a 0 0.01 fee. Um, floor is looking fine. Let's just borrow this. Okay, verify this is the NFT you want. Let's open that. Return any NFT from the same col collection before the borrow period ends to reclaim your collateral. So yeah, I think one of the main things is the reason they're asking you to verify it's the NFT you want is because um, they don't want you picking up um, borrowing something from a collection that's not legitimate. So yeah, that's why they want you to clearly ensure you are testing it's open. See, okay. We just log in. Oops. Okay. Cool. Yeah. And forfeit collateral if you do not return an NFT in time. I understand. Peace. Pretty straightforward. Let's keep going. Okay. Borrow period is about seven days. I expect this is when. So the only scenario where you're doing this is if you're expecting a fall in price. For example, I'd say when the Moonbirds fiasco happened, right? When proof was going through that period of where everyone started selling the proof passes because um, they figured out it's only valid till the end of 24. I think the end of 24, yeah. And then it trickled down to Moonbirds where Moonbirds had some cash tied up in SVB. So everyone got bearish. I'd expect people to make a lot of money because I saw it dip. I myself saw it dip from six to four ETH in front of my eyes over 24 hours. So things like that, right? You're clearly like um, making money there off of someone who's probably lending their NFT. So yeah. Even if the fee would be exorbitant, how exorbitant would it be really typically, right? Cool. So the borrower fee is 0 0.01 ETH. The collateral is 0 0.04 ETH and the floor is around 0 0.02 ETH or so. So yeah. It's taking a while because test net, you know. Okay, back to my NFTs. So now that I've borrowed it, best off with 0 0.02 in here, but I hop on to OpenSea. I collected, this is the OpenSea test nets, by the way. I can't accept. Interesting. Oh, because like they, you cannot accept offers after a recent transfer. So I'll have to uh, skip that. But what else did they say? Skip this step if it's when you would be watching prices to fall. So essentially, um, buy a replacement flow Goblin Town, return the new replacement NFT to close the position. Huh? Yeah. So we go here, we go to Goblin Town. 
it's point zero two two ETH. So let me just add this to cart. Gas is high in on the test net. Who would have thought? There we go. So I paid zero point zero three two seven. After gas, you know what would be comical if the math doesn't math at the end of this. But anyway, <laughs> so yeah, again, it's not the case currently by the looks of it. The prices they have, you know, mentioned. I should probably see instead what have where the prices are different. One second. Let me refresh this. Do I have a borrow tab? Yeah, there it is borrowing. Close position. So they take about 20% market fee, something to note, just for the service, which is, I think, depending on which part of, one second, I'm trying to wrap my head around, what, head around what's happening. So I bought for 0 0.02, I borrowed one more. The borrowed um, Goblin Town I still have, and I gave back. one cool i'd imagine i got credited a bit which i did yep collat my so i got my collateral back and i have i i typically have my um own goblin town nft so yeah that makes sense that is fair return new replace kind of as you made 0 0.05 g again with this short sale, I, I don't think we were able to necessarily short it because um, or did I? 0 0.04, right? Yeah, so I made about 0 0.04. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it checks out, but probably the more sensible way um, to understand this will be only after the full launch, um, but more so um, if the OpenSea test nets were actually operating. I, if I could really accept the highest collection offer, but either way, peaceful. I'm, I'm still going to try and figure out where I screwed up though, because I'm a little lost. Um... I'm going to go... You think Revoke Cash has testnet? That'll be helpful. Testnet, oh yeah, it does. Oh, what am I doing now? Revoke Cash. Eat the scan. There's no shot. Eat the scan. No. Go eat the scan. Oh. Testnet, yeah, there we go. Let's take a look at... So, this is the purchase. And... Okay. Yeah, so clearly the shorting did not work because pretty much start off with what I have, but I have the NFT instead. So that's okay. Fine. All right. Just confused myself a ton, a truckload. But yeah, okay. 
Makes sense. But I think they need to be a little bit more clearer with their documentation instead because the prices clearly have changed. And um, yeah, I mean, you don't have you don't have the ability to really accept a collection offer over on OpenSea. You want to be able to make it very clear that um, w what the benefit is if you were to do this um, IRL. Cool, cool. Do the same thing with OpenSea where, where you're buying something off of OpenSea and trying and paying it back to the person you've borrow, borrowed um, the NFT from. Okay. Cool, I'm gonna jump back into the platform itself. I'd love a page that lets me look at my transactions. I think that's, okay, there we go, my activity. There it is, right in front of you. See, most of the things you ask for is usually right in front of you and you don't look at it. Note to self. It's gonna take a while to load, evidently so. Oh, it's taking a long time to load. My activity, let's try and do some gimmick. Oops, guess it doesn't work that way. There we go, all activity. Profile would be good too. I'm pretty sure they're working on it. Yeah, definitely just being able to get your um, transactions will be super helpful. That's for beginners. The starts. But yeah, I think overall, I'm pretty, pretty impressed. Just confused myself with the whole open sea thing. Cause it doesn't seem like I got created any ETH. So I'm thinking, where? Or maybe it didn't reflect, but I did see, you know, before I closed the, um, what do you call it, man? Why am I so lost? Anyway, so yeah, before you close the overall, uh, no, transaction between two activities are broken at the moment while we were confused. Sorry about that. No worries, man. I was just uh, talking about it, uh, how I wanted to see transactions. I'd already gone to uh, the test net ether scan and I looked at stuff there. So I had completely forgotten about activities, but yeah, um, I, I checked out the listing. I listed it. I, uh, borrowed and as well as, you know, closed, um, closed, the, uh, why am I running out of words? What's it called? The transaction? Is that the right word? If I borrow, let, let me just, let me just borrow something and see how it does. I don't have a fire collateral insufficient fund. Okay. Yeah. Borrowing doodle is not the wisest. Let's just borrow Goblin Town again to understand what the term is. Oh, it's a, that's not an issue anyway. Test nets do be wild in. Oh, we in, we in, we in, we in. Hmm. Okay, the match checks out. Never mind. Borrow another NFT. Still a testnet issue. Interesting. Even though I have enough. 0 0.07 Zizzle. Anyway, I guess the testnets are giving up on me. But I'm glad it's giving up after I finished everything. I checked out everything. Just messing up my terminology with a couple of things. But yeah, if you borrow an NFT and if I want to close off the deal itself, um, if I go and give back another NFT, um, it checks out pretty well because the collateral you put up is 0 0.05, whereas you're buying it for 0 0.02 elsewhere and that comes back. Cool. 
I'm excited. Honestly, I mentioned this in the earlier parts of the stream where it's going to be heavily detrimental on what kind of collections you end up having. I just hope you end up putting up collections where, or sorry, allowing collections which are relatively smaller, are relatively um, not as big as you'd think, has doxed founders because I'll give you an example, right? MV3, if you haven't heard of it, MV3 NFT. Um, testnet issues out of our control? Yeah, I know, LT, all good. Um, but yeah, so to give you an example of what kind of collection, I'd um, definitely recommend um, getting it on your platform is something like MV3 NFT. It's, I'm a holder, so full disclosure there, but the thing is most of those holders are long-term holders. Like they've bought it and they're stacking it up with a one to two year view, they're the ones who maybe will be open to lending it out more so than any other collection who are probably, you know, considered blue chips. So that's what I thought. I wanted to lend uh, my NFT out for a bit of leverage, my MV3 NFT and not be able to lose it. Cause the thing with these kind of collections, these kind of storytelling collections is that, um, these guys are holding on to the character for the traits they have for the way they look because there, there's going to be a story built in their fictional um, city and universe at the end of the day and they still want that character. For someone like me where I need liquidity ASAP and I want to um, keep the character as well, there's no um, escrow of sorts that just holds on to my NFT, gives me liquidity and go for it. So that is why collections like these MV3 NFT and other a bunch of other collections, another one, Nuclear Nerds, I think that's another one. So these kind of collections definitely, it makes sense to get them on the platform. The only reason I went on with this is because I didn't see them on Bendow when I was desperate for some liquidity. Uh, what can we add? Information. Make sure y'all are looking at collections with more volume as well. As, no, more volume does make more volume does make sense with um, holders who are dedicated on the project's future. And I'm pretty sure the collections themselves, honestly, like the storytelling collections, they themselves will be open to something like this because it's more, if anything, it's beneficial for them because their holders get to do like an added level of um, messing around in the Web3 ecosystem. And I know most, not most of them, but some of the holders are like relatively invested only into one collection. So these are the kind of collections I'd recommend having on it but overall the platform's fine in my opinion oh, i need to sign up okay take it take all my data <laughs> that was a joke anyway click on nft and show its details that's there when dark moon hmm. that's uh <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the ultimate question of any website that's white when dark mode oh god this is interesting when i wanted to borrow an nft i instinctively went to the borrowing tab so as i assume that's where you go to borrow 
but market is the right place so distinction needs to be made fair but borrowing okay of course these are these are things i'd expect them to build up on borrowing multiple nfts which i think would be crazy and whoever wants to borrow multiple nfts that's even more intense Ah, this is a testnet issue. It would be nice to have a personal agenda like the Windows agenda for all the NFTs loaned or borrowed. I have a better overview in case I am involved in 20 or more NFTs. I'm assuming they're trying to say that it'll be cool if they had their borrowed and lent out NFTs on separate parts of the platform. But I think they already have that, don't they? Yeah, they have it, but they, but it's under, it's under its own ca this one tab. So basically, you don't get it under my NFTs, or it it's all together. So it's not maybe that's a better option, bringing lending and borrowing down here, or just making a difference. But again, that's UX stuff, which I will not comment on, because to be honest, I enjoy this more than OpenSea's user experience. So. You got a thumbs up from me there. But yeah, I think that was fun. I think we can wrap it up there. I gave a little bit of feedback. Probably not something they'd want, of course, because they're looking for platform bugs and features. This is more of a heads up of giving a head nod for what kind of NFTs to have on their platform, which based on one of the points they mentioned, which was uh, make sure, double check on OpenSea if it's the right collection. I think they're just going to be opening it up for everyone. And if they do, they got another issue with security. But anyway, it's things they still need to um, open up about and just be clear about, which we'll figure out uh, upon full release. And hopefully I'll be using this. Hopefully I'm still trading. <laughs> yeah, I'll be trading. But yeah, that, that was fun. This is my first time minting NFTs on a testnet. So that to begin with was fun as well as just the whole uh, borrowing and just doing the stream. Short one, 45 minutes, probably not so short. But yeah, Alti, thanks for coming by, man. And thanks for letting me do this. Um, of course, for those of you who watched till the very end, I should have mentioned it at least once somewhere in the middle. But yeah, as an OG in the dive um, server, I get to elect or just recommend a refer another OG. So if you watch till the very end, make sure you uh, comment, like, subscribe, and uh, I'll pick one of, one of the commenters to dive, get to dive into dive <laughs> there you go you get to dive into dive if you comment and tell me what nft you would borrow and why there you go i think that's that's fair uh, for the handful of people who come from twitter as well but yeah thanks alti and thanks for whoever tuned in later um always fun to do a live stream but first time doing a live stream regarding nfts and platforms i want to do more of this i'm being more proactive in spaces as well just for that reason so yeah uh, thanks for tuning in, folks. I'll see you again mm, when I'm gaming. When I'm gaming. Tomorrow or something. Okay. Cheers.